can go up to F4000. If you know me, then you know I love do rags. I appreciate the art form that is time to do rag. Unfortunately, a lot of you people are lost, and I'm here to guide yourself back to uh, do rag. <laughs> So, let's start. Happen to have a do-rag right here. Now, you can get your do-rag from anywhere, but I get mine from whopthat4000.com. So, first thing you want to do, always seam out. Do-rag flipped so that you can just toss it to the back like that. I'm well versed enough in the tying of dewies so that I don't need a mirror. As you do your first cross around to the front and then let them drape. Because if you let them drape, you can get them completely flat in the back and control the thickness of the durag tentacles. So you want to take your durag tentacles and make sure they flat. Bam. One tentacle turn into a headband. And then, ah, like that. And just play with it until it's in a place that you feel like comfortable. Pull the flap in the back so that you don't have no loose fabric. You should be able to go from front to back. And there you go. You can play with the strap. Sometimes I like to throw it up and rock it like this and kind of look like he's got his flap on his head. He doesn't give a fuck about anything. You're right. I don't. You know, oh man, look at this guy. He doesn't care about anything. He's in Whole Foods. Still in clam chowder, he said that. Most of the time, especially like if you're in Colorado, you can just go up to the mountains and, and let the, the cool wind breeze and blow through and you feel like Pocahontas. And who doesn't want to feel like Pocahontas? And there you have it. This is how to traditionally tie your do-rag to the back. I may do another tutorial with the other ties. You got the t mask tie, there's the New York double knot, there's the Puerto Rican side tie, and there's always the auntie to the front, one of my favorites. But enjoy this tutorial and um, you're welcome.